the Fall Farmathon episode 13? 14? Maybe it's 14? I don't know for sure. <laughs> I'm losing count, but today we are going to be getting back into corn. So if you watched the last video, which was yesterday, we finished up with bean harvest for 2022, so that's exciting. And if you remember way back on episode one of Fall Farmathon, we had an auger that broke at the very end of the last of the first day of harvest. Well, today we're going to be getting that fixed. And the reason that we're getting that fixed right now instead of waiting till the end of harvest is because we're going to be going back into corn today and some of the corn that we're going to be going into is going to be really dry like dry enough to go straight into the bin and that's just a waste of time and energy to run that through the dryer so what we're going to do is we're going to have an auger set up directly to that bin so that we can just run dry corn straight into that bin and we can still fill up the wet bin with the corn that we have that needs to be dried because we're going to have some that's dry enough to go straight into the bin, some that needs to be dried. Um, it can still go through the dryer and run into that bin over there. So we are going to get the auger fixed. I'll show you kind of what we need to do to get it fixed. So this is the shaft that broke. I have that gear on it and stuff and that's the new shaft that we got. So we need to get it kind of put back together with this stuff and then we can get that put back on the auger, then it will be fixed. So Papa right now is hooking up to the broken auger and we're going to get it backed in here and lift it up so we can work on it and hopefully get rolling in the field pretty quickly. We have to get the auger set up here, a gravity wagon set up as a hopper, then we should be able to get to the field. Okay, we hooked the loader up, so we're gonna lift that end up in the air. We're just gonna bring this end down so we can work on it. Okay, here's what we're looking like. First class job. Oops. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let him go. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> nah, that's an extra part. Put it over there. We'll put it away. <laughs> okay, we got the new shaft put on. We got the new bearing put on. Now we're going to let the tractor, let the loader down and raise this in the back up. Getting the auger set up. The 44 hooked up to the PTO. We got the big gravity wagon up here, which is what's going to be our big hopper to unload the auger cart into, and then I'll unload that into the bin. So we're going to get things going here. So with this auger, usually you have it down in a hole and the PTO is lower, but when it's up on ground, the PTO is actually really high up. So we put some blocks under 44 to back up on just so it's a little bit higher and not as steep of an angle, but it runs good that way, even though it's not perfectly level. So yeah, this should run good. So I think we're finally getting close to being able to head to the field. Okay, we have gotten things pretty well set up, so we are inside to have some lunch. We are having walking tacos today. It is delicious. Tacos are one of my favorite things, and these are delicious. So, as you can see, we are ready for lunch. They're hungrily devouring the tacos. So, it, the weather's really changed outside, actually. The wind picked up, it got real cloudy, and... 
We were contemplating on whether it was too breezy to put the auger up, but we decided to go ahead and do it. And then the wind picked up even more, like in the middle of putting the auger up. But we got it up there, and it should be okay now. So. Okay, we are headed to the field. We're gonna take some endros off, see what the moisture is, and depending on what that is, uh, I'll either be up here running the dryer, or we will be running it straight into the bin. So, we'll see. Okay, everybody, we are done for the day. It's only like 5.30. Come on, Lemuel, hurry up. It's only like 5.30, but everybody's really tired and we had to do some extra work this morning with getting set up. So we're in early today and we'll have a nice long day tomorrow. But the moisture is from like anywhere from 14% to 18%, probably averaging somewhere around 16%. So we're running it straight into the bin right now. We're not running it through the dryer at all. We'll run some air through it to blow off any moisture that is on it. But it's doing really good right now. So we don't have to run the dryer, which is really nice because we can go as long as we need to and we aren't using up that propane to run the dryer. So that is the update. Not quite as long of a video for you guys today, but I hope you guys enjoyed it still. So as always, thank you so much for watching and we will see you tomorrow. Like and subscribe. Okay.